Hi friends, Juan the Yarn Addict here bringing you another stitch pattern tutorial. Today I offer you triangle tiles. This is what we're looking like. It's super easy, fun, and fast to work up. This particular pattern works up in multiples of six, plus one, plus four for the beginning chain. Now, the stitches that we actually use here are extended double crochets, chains, and then an extended double crochet cluster, which is what you see right here. Now the very first row is worked up going into the actual chains, as you see here, but then after that, every row thereafter is worked up going into the chain spaces, which makes it super easy, fun, and fast to work up, as I said. Now the sides work out to be perfectly straight, although when you let it go, it tends to be not so straight, but it is perfectly straight. Now, this particular pattern is meant to be loose, lacy, and drapey. Hence all of the holes there, which makes this absolutely perfect for wraps, swimsuit cover-ups, you name it. Now, I did work up the tutorial pattern here using an acrylic yarn, but feel free to use whatever yarn you'd like. Now, more specifically, I used Red Heart Super Saver uh, ombre in the colorway sea coral it's a very nice color but again feel free to use cotton whatever you'd like three weight four weight you name it this particular pattern will work up regardless of the weight of yarn i do suggest that perhaps you follow the recommended hook size uh, for the particular yarn of your choice okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get this tutorial started Okay friends, so to get started, what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. And from here, what we wanna do is chain multiples of six. Now you can go as long as you'd like, so long as it's multiples of six. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna chain 36. So I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to place this on a brief pause and I will be right back once I have my 36 chains. Okay, friends, so now that I have my chains, again, multiples of six, what we want to do is chain one more and then chain four more for the beginning chain. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is go into the seventh chain from the hook. So this little nubby here counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in the seventh chain, what we want to do is insert an extended double crochet. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, go into the chain, drop a loop, yarn over and go through one, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. And there is the extended double crochet. So from here, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. After that, we're going to go back into this chain to do a sequence of stitches that will form an extended double crochet cluster. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go into the chain we just came out of, draw up a loop, Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, and go through two only. Just like that. You should have two loops remaining on your hook. From here, we're going to go into the next chain. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two only. And it should look like that. Twins in their own stitches. Next, we're going to yarn over and go into the next chain. Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two, just like that. So we have triplets in their own stitches, okay? You should have four loops remaining on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go through all four of those loops, just like this. And that completes the stitch sequence here. So from here, what we want to do is skip three and go into the fourth chain. So skip, skip, skip. We're going to go into this chain right here. So we're going to yarn over, 
go into the chain, drop a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two, just like that. And you'll see this little dip here. That's part of the pattern. It's gonna be wavy down here. So that's perfectly normal. So once you have your extended double, like we have right here, we're going to chain four, just like this. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so once we have our four chains, we're gonna go right into the chain we just came out of to start our cluster sequence here. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two only. From here, we're gonna go into the next chain, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two, just like that. From here, we're gonna yarn over, go into the next chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two only. And so you should have triplets in their own stitches. From here, we're going to yarn over and go through all four loops on the hook. And there you have it. It's a repeat of what we just did right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more sequence with you and then I will meet you at the end of the chain, okay? So, to begin the sequence here, what we wanna do is skip three chains, skip, 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 go into this fourth chain with an extended double crochet. So yarn over, go into the chain, drop a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two only. Well, and then yarn over and go through the other two. I forgot, this is the extended double here. Okay, so from here, what we wanna do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. After you have your four chains, we're gonna work our sequence right here of three stitches to form a cluster. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, and go through two only. We're gonna go next door here, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two only. So you have twins in their own stitches. And we're gonna do that one more time right here and I'm gonna do that silently so you can watch. And there you have it. From here, you're gonna yarn over and go through all four loops, just like that, okay? So we have three repeats here of the stitch. So we're gonna continue doing this until you get to the end of your chain, okay? So I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna place us on a brief pause and I will meet you when we get to the end here, all right? And at the end of your chain, you should have two free chains left, okay? So I'll see you once we get down here. Okay, friends, so I am approaching the end of the first row here, and I have two stitches remaining. And so what we wanna to do to finish row one is from here, all we're doing is inserting an extended double crochet standalone right here in the last chain. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that last chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And that's it right there. So let me make a bunny ear here and show you all the things. So if you notice, there's a wave, that's part of the pattern, okay? Bunch of triangles here, love that. Okay, so this particular row is the only row where you're actually working into a chain. For the remainder of your project, regardless of how big or small it is, every row thereafter is gonna be worked into these chain spaces. Okay, so on the ends, you will be going into the last chain before the stitch. 
on both sides. So um, that is the only time you're actually going into anything. So you'll be going into the chains, but at no time should you be going into any of any stitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin row two. So from here, what we want to do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Once we have our four, we're going to turn our work. Okay, so now, as I mentioned, we're going to be working into these chain spaces here. So we're going to begin with an extended double. So we're going to yarn over, go into the chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. Just like that. From here, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do an extended double crochet cluster, except now we're not working into separate stitches. We're working everything out of this chain space, which makes it a lot easier. So we're just gonna yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, and leave two loops remaining on your hook. So you're gonna yarn over and do that two more times. So I'm gonna do that silently while you watch. So once you have your three stitches, you should have four loops remaining on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all the loops, just like that. And so from here, you're just going to jump right into the next chain space with an extended double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go in, and do your extended double. Just like that. And then after your extended double, you're going to chain four. After your four chains, you're gonna work another cluster. It's very simple here. So once you have your three stitches, you should have four loops on the hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through all four, just like that. And that's what we're looking like, okay? So continue on with this, and I will meet you at the end of row number two. Okay, friends, so now that I'm at the end of row number two, um, I just finished my sequence of stitches here. What we need to do is put a standalone extended double crochet in the last chain before the stitch. So just roll the chain over and you should see it right there. So we're going to yarn over, go into that chain, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two, just like that. And that concludes row number two. So from here, what we want to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to turn our work and repeat what we just did in row number two. So let me just pull the camera back a little bit, just like that. And so from here, once you have your chains, you're going to go right into the chain space and work the sequence of an extended double, chain four, and then a cluster. So I'm just going to do one silently while you watch. stitch so you have three stitches next to each other with four loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and go through all four of those loops 
and there you have it okay so continue with this and i will see you at the end of row number three okay friends so i am at the end of row number three and so what we want to do from here is like at the end of row two and this is going to be the constant so when you get to the end of a row you want to go into the last chain before the stitch so you're going to yarn over go into that chain draw up a loop yarn over go through one yarn over go through two yarn over and go through two just like that okay so that is pretty much it so i'm going to do several more rows just to give you a bigger bird's eye view of what this actually looks like okay so for you it's just going to be a few seconds for me a little while longer but i will be back as soon as i have several more rows completed okay friends so i am back and i've done several more rows actually a little more than several and this is what we're looking like here it's super super nice so as you can see there's a wave at the top and there's a wave at the bottom it's part of the pattern and then on the sides here super super straight all the way down on both sides very nice so you can even turn it to the side give it a different look so and this is what it's looking like at an angle here and this is the other side very very nice well my friends if you enjoyed this tutorial please give me a like consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and then of course hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel it's been a lot of fun my friends and until the next one take care bye bye